Solar panels are everywhere. And with President Biden pushing green energy with his clean electricity standard, now there's even more interest. But does that mean it's for you? And why does solar seem so political? Let me explain. Solar panels collect energy from the sun and turn it into electricity. Electricity from there means less from here and lower electric bills for you. A lot of places are already using solar, like NFL stadiums and the Olympic headquarters. Celebrities like Leonardo DiCaprio are also big on renewable energy. There's one thing you should know about me. Already. He powered the entire movie set of Inception using solar. So that's really cool and all, but can it save regular homeowners like you money? There are a lot of ways to finance solar panels, from leasing to loans. Let's look at a typical purchase. The actual cost of solar panels depends on the size of your house and can often range from ten dollars to $40,000. Then you have to account for the installation and watch out. There might be surprise expenses like cutting down trees for direct sunlight, reinforcing your roof, or having to upgrade your electrical. So what about savings? Start off with a 26% tax credit on your federal income tax. Then many utilities and states will also give you a rebate incentive, averaging $1,000. Add to that, most states also offer property tax or state income tax credit to reduce your cost even more. Plus, if you install enough panels, your electric bill could go all the way down to zero. So let's talk numbers. In the best case scenario, let's say your solar system cost you $20,000. And then you live in South Carolina for a combined tax credit of 51% of your purchase. Excluding any rebates, your total cost is $9,800. The average electric bill is $1,390 a year. So divide in 9,800 by that, and you would need to live in your house for a little more than seven years to break even. And of course, your return is going to be different if you live in Seattle versus Miami. And as far as politics goes, there's a bit of fake news out there. Headlines declaring Trump's war on solar is misleading at best. Both Trump and Biden encourage solar growth. And according to a Pew poll last year, 65% of Republicans and 90% of Democrats favor developing more alternative fuels. So when it comes down to it, getting solar really only makes sense if you want to help the environment like Leonardo or plan to stay in your home for a while. Let us know what you think in the comments below.